What if there was a tiny molecule that could help your cells make more energy and maybe even slow down aging? In this video, I'm going to explain what the SS31 peptide is, how it helps your mitochondria, and why scientists think it could help with aging, fatigue, and even certain diseases. Then stick around to the very end because I'll share what you can do right now to help keep your mitochondria healthy. What's up and welcome to the video. I'm Dr. Daniel Ricciardi, gut health expert, licensed pharmacist, fitness enthusiast, creator of SIBO Shortcut and the Gut Health Supplement bloat blocker. One of my clients recently sent me a clip of one of Chris Williamson's podcasts where he mentioned he's using two peptides. One is LL37 and the other one is this one, SS31. Unless you've researched peptides quite a bit, chances are you probably have not heard of either of these two. So what is SS31? SS31, also called elamipertide, is a small man-made peptide. A peptide is basically a tiny piece of protein. This one's kind of special because it seems to know how to find and protect a part of your cell called the mitochondria, the part of your cell that makes energy. When I say energy, this energy isn't just about feeling energetic. Not having good mitochondria function can also be related to a lot of different things, such as memory issues, mood changes, digestive issues, immune function, hormone production, and a variety of different things. How does SS31 work? Inside your mitochondria, there's a layer called the inner membrane. This is sort of like the engine room where energy gets made. SS31 sticks to a part of that membrane called cardiolipin. By doing this, it helps that engine stay strong and smooth. Mitochondria can get damaged for a variety of reasons. Some include poor diets, toxins, chronic stress, lack of sleep, aging, infections, but perhaps the main one is something known as oxidative stress. When mitochondria get damaged, they leak bad molecules called free radicals, which can contribute to you feeling tired, sore, or even making you age faster. SS31 seems to be able to help prevent that leak of free radicals, which potentially would mean more energy and less strain on your cells. Why should you care about SS31? Because mitochondria, they're at the center of pretty much everything. Your energy, your focus, your muscular strength, even how you age. Some places in your body that are very high in mitochondria are organs such as your heart, your brain, muscles, liver, kidney, and eyes. As a result, when looking at SS31, a lot of the conditions that they're potentially trying to fix are related to these organs. In terms of research studies, pretty much all of them have been done on animals up to this point. This 2020 study, late life restoration, reverses cardiac dysfunction in old mice. Looked to see if the SS31 peptide helped the heart of old mice, and it found that it helped them move faster, run longer, and make more ATP, adenosine triphosphate, which is the energy molecule your cells use. So there's a variety of animal tests that look at conditions kind of like this, and then a lot of tests are also being begun in humans as well, and they've been ongoing. Is SS31 safe? Probably the most important question. In early studies in humans, it does seem pretty safe. This 2022 study reports that the main adverse effects associated with SS31 were found to be injection site adverse reactions, such as erythema at 57%. This basically just means redness of the skin, pruritus at 47%, which is significant itching. It's kind of like hives, pain at 20%, urticaria at 20%, which is just normal itching and then irritation at 10%. What problems could SS31 help with? As I mentioned before, a lot of those major organs that have a lot of mitochondria are the potential spots that we may be able to see the most benefit. It's being looked at right now for muscle loss, heart disease, specifically heart failure, which is a heart condition where when your heart contracts, it's not really clearing that much blood out of the heart. Kidney problems, especially diabetic kidney issues, and even brain aging, things like Alzheimer's disease. My final recommendation, thoughts on SS31. Stuff like SS31 peptides, this is a very new technology. While a lot of the research is showing that there's not a lot of side effects, truthfully, we really don't know long-term effects of using something like this. I tend to be in the camp of less supplements and substances you're putting into your body, whether you're ingesting them or injecting them into your body. If there's not a very specific reason of why you're about to use this product, I'm not in favor of using it. So when I see something like this, like an SS31, before using SS31, you should have 
everything else health-wise in your life pretty much dialed in. And then if you're still not getting good results, maybe this is something that is worth trying. Some things you can do right now to help support your mitochondria without using peptides or injecting anything into your body. Antioxidant-rich foods, exercising regularly, getting enough sleep, managing stress, limiting toxins, doing some sort of intermittent fasting. And then if we are talking supplements, there are certain ones that help the mitochondria, such as coenzyme Q10 or CoQ10, magnesium, omega-3s, L-carnitine, and creatine. That is all for today. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, please like and subscribe to my channel for more related content. If you've tried SS31 or any peptides, please let us know in the comments below what your experience was like. Since you watched till the end, I think you're going to find one of these two videos here helpful next. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.